EAP is a, a modern therapeutic um, method of using horses to actually treat behavioural problems. It's been used in America now for many years um, and it's been here now for, well we've been using it for five years and we've successfully treated over 700 people with addictions and other um, behavioural disorders using equine therapy. It's a therapeutic method used on the ground, there's no riding involved, there's no horsemanship involved, it's very much a, a relationship between a therapist, a client and a horse. So there's um, tasks set for the client to try and achieve using the horse um, to help, maybe trying to get the horse over some small jumps or trying to get the horse through an obstacle course. That's about communication and trust and building self-esteem and confidence and things like that. So it's a very powerful way for somebody to get in touch with some of their behaviours and, and then horses have got a way of communicating with human beings that are it's less judgmental and it's less threatening than a human being telling them what they think is wrong. The horse responds in a certain way and the client very quickly picks up that the horse doesn't like that or the horse does like that. Are these special horses? The, the horses aren't trained, there's no special training but we use horses preferably that don't kick or bite anything like that. So the horses are usually um, used to being around human beings and used to behaving in a certain way. But there's no equipment used, there's no harnesses, there's no saddles, there's no whips or lines or whatever. It's very much about allowing the horse to be a horse. And it's the natural responses of the horse that bring about the communication and the relationship. Most people when they go into that situation want the horse to like them. Most people have got this need to be appreciated and loved by other living beings so there's a real desire for the horse to be their friend so they will change their behaviours in order to get that horse to respond better and respond differently. Is there any other types of behaviour that they're used for? It's, it's been um, proven to be very useful in a whole range of behaviours. I've did some training with um, Lee Shambu who's an American practitioner. She comes over here once a year and I did some specific training on post-traumatic stress disorder and, and it's um, being used frequently in America for that because of that again it's gentle, it's, um, it's non-aggressive in its approach um, and it allows people to actually be with their feelings and, and for the horses to respond to that. I've also worked with a range of clients from young people, young girls um, who had substance problems and, and were vulnerable and because of some of their behaviours right through to at the minute I'm working with um, a group of young kids that are um, have had some sexual problems and have been abused themselves so there's a whole gamut. Um, I also do contractual work and corporate work with organisations so um, again the equine solutions um, we call it are fantastic for management development, team building, team development, training, stuff like that. Um, Within the corporate world, it's a whole new ball game for them, and it's something that's that's proven to be high impact at the time of the the training, um, because people aren't expecting what happens, and it seems to be a kind of slow release. So when people go back into the workplace, the memory of the day stays with them. A lot of courses you finish at five o'clock at night, you go to work the next day, and you forgot all about what happened. This seems very much to be a a long acting experience for people.